Hello YouTubers, this is kind of a different video here, but um, another one of my hobbies are electronics, and I uh, got this TV set for free, uh, the cabinet and everything is cracked over here, I'm not going to fix it, but I'm going to, uh, I don't know if you can see down in there, at least not until I take the cover off. I'm going to pull the uh, power board out of it so I can use some of the components. But, as many people know, um, CRT televisions that have the picture tube in it, this one is quite heavy, um, hold a high voltage charge. And uh, the capacitors that are on the power board, we'll see those a little bit later, do hold some charge, but you know, the 1,000 volt charge with relatively lower amps is held by the picture tube itself. The tube is actually, um, it, the, the tube acts like a big capacitor. So I'm going to have to uh, take this cabinet off and um, discharge it. And I'll show you how I do that. The TV does work, like I said. There we go. Yeah, I'll do it when I get the, uh, the sound's kind of funny on it, but the, the main part is the flyback transformer works, which is what I'm after. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that cabinet off and, uh, get back to you. This episode will be brought to you by the 100 watt light bulb. Let there be light. Anyhow, once you get the cover off, that's what's inside. And the part we have to discharge is actually this lead right here. Um, it, is, it is enough to give you a good jolt. But, um, They don't make them like this anymore. And just to kind of show you, because once I discharge this, it'll be the last time I uh, last time I turn it on. Let's see. You can see the light back there. That's a picture tube. If you look real close here, you see that orange glow. That's the uh, that's the back part of the tube. It glows just like the um, uh, vacuum tubes, and vacuum tubes are still used. So, uh, yep. Okay. First of all, before I do any of this, I am by no means a professional, but. Um, when you discharge the anode lead, the high voltage lead of the uh, flyback, and discharge the transform, uh, discharge the uh, picture tube, you want to find a chass chassis ground or a chassis ground, and there is one right there. Those have been used for grounds. Um, anything like that. With these sets, it's a little bit, a little bit harder, because uh, they're all plastic. The other ones had metal. Some of them have a metal wire. Um, 
this little item right here is a degaussing, um, demagnetizing band, I believe. But anyway, okay, that right there is a good example. This item right here is a cha uh, chassis ground. And it goes right down there, plugs in, and actually hooks to the neutral prong by the looks of it. And uh, got that hooked up with an insulated screwdriver. And if you heard that little snap, that was the tube discharge. And I'll hold it there for a couple seconds, but... Uh, That's pretty much it. And always make sure that it's unplugged. That's pretty much all you need to do. And then for this, some of these you just pinch. That one, since we don't care about the picture tube, I just popped it right off. But usually you want to be careful and uh, you want to kind of pull the suction cup back like so and just push in on these two tabs and that releases it from the picture tube right here. Now if you were going to reinstall this you want to clean that area um, and if you look real closely there what I'm doing is I'm taking the one, one side of the prong locking it onto the washer pushing the other side down and uh, it's locked in there you go A little bit of high voltage. There we go. Yep, pretty cool. One other thing I wanted to show you. That's the uh, plug off the back of the picture tube here. Um, these, these four wires here red and blue, yellow and white all go to these coils here. There's one set of coils that does a horizontal sweep and there's another set of coils that does vertical sweep. Basically you get your high voltage here into the picture tube it strikes an arch arc arch yeah strikes an arc lights up the helps light up the picture tube and this is what helps sweep the uh, uh, the image that you see on your screen. Now, if you were to take uh, that one's not labeled. I'm not sure which one's vertical, which one's horizontal. But if you were to take and reverse the polarity of these, it would make the picture show up upside down. Essentially, it's like flipping the television set over. Like I said, drop your screwdriver, shut the camera off somehow, I have no idea. Take a screw out. Oops. Okay, remember to put the screw back on that piece. And there is one more screw. Always keep these. These are nice little clips to hold wires together. Uh, couple more inside here. Got some extra stuff I gotta disconnect. Just need the board for its power, that's all. Here. 
here. That should be it. There you go. 1991 Zenith. Not sure what model this is. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that there. It's a 1991. It's on the back of the cover. And uh, let's see what we got here. Got a speaker. Uh, I can't tell how that's on there. That's loose. I think this thing was dropped, but basically we'll disconnect that speaker. We don't need that. And uh, there it is. A lot more circuits than I need, but it'll do the job.